it is Rebecca Taylor, Vivid Artistic Hair Design, and who's over here doing shit? Your hair hubby. <laughs> Your, yes, my hair my hubby, hubby guy Tang. Tang. And so this is like, I'm going to lend from Guy's format of paranormal hairtivity because I don't have a damn tripod. I love my memory card, all that good stuff. So I am literally holding my phone facing me taking video. So I'm going to just introduce what's going on and who everybody is. But we have a fun project today using Olaplex and I'm going to do my fra fragment technique. It's going to be the jam. So here we have Marissa. Can you see Marissa? Hopefully I can crop this later. But Marissa, Marissa is my lovely model that I found on Instagram, or she found me, so it works out. And we're gonna do some amazing things on her. And then over here... We have Ruta. 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 I have no idea if you can see this, but we'll figure it out later. So let me stop filming like this and get started, and I'll make sure I show you guys everything that we are doing. Ruta. So I'm going to have two separate lightening formulas. The first is going to be Lanza Decolorizer, which is a cream lightener, 20 volume and an eighth of an ounce for her regrowth or scalp area. And then what you're seeing here is going to be for the mid lengths and ends, which is also Lanza Decolorizer, but a half an ounce of Olaplex because I need maximum amount of protection when I'm working with previously lightened hair. So you mix up your lightener and developer and then you add the Olaplex number one, mix thoroughly, and then we'll be ready to apply. Okay, you guys, so I am just steadily applying light lightener to Marissa's new growth. And you guys can see it's already starting to lift on that quadrant that I've done, but it's she has very warm hair naturally and it's already predisposed to lift with more warmth. So we've got to combat a lot of warmth to sum it all up. Guy, what do you have to say? What's your message of today? Um, I think she has beautiful hair. No, just about life, about stuff. Oh, I think that this will be fun. <laughs> he's at a loss for words. Apparently, I'm at loss. the I'm cat at has his. No, he's not. Okay, so I should have just said, like, can you sing us a song, guy? Because that he would be right on top of with the quickness. <laughs> I am not going to sing right now. We did sing it for karaoke with a bunch of hairdressers. We all got together, like Shonda Brodus and uh, Con Confession. Her name's Jenny. Confessions, but everybody. We got together and it was a good ass time. So we do like to sing. Is that what we're doing? That's what I'm Two doing. Two guys are better than one. That sounds bad. <laughs> oh. I meant like bad. Guy Tang. Yeah. I meant like, you're like Bruno likes it. I meant Guy Tang. So anyways, I am just gonna keep working up her head. I'm taking small sections. Got my Fremar brush. Fremar, Fremar, however you would like to pronounce it. I think I'm actually gonna do a smaller section than that so it gets saturated. Um, just taking a very small section. I have my Olaplex in there to protect, not overlapping that line. Maybe just slightly feathering it, but no more than that. And I'm just working through. And then after I'm finished with the top quadrant, I'll end up working my way up the back. You may find it uh, more beneficial for you to start at the nape and work your way up, but we're gonna do deeper colors under here. So I'm just... All right, so you can see, well, with the lighting, geez, looks like she's glowing. But we've got her regrowth lifted up pretty well. That band is no longer a Cheeto color. And so we're going to address her previously lightened ends right now. Guys, rinsing Ruta back there. We're tag teaming. So what I have in Zibble, I think I just showed you guys, but it's also Lanza Cream Lightener. Because um, I really like the cream lightener, not just from the scalp, but sometimes if you're dealing with pre-lightened hair, I feel like um, it's very emollient, it's rich, and maybe a little gentler than some powder lighters. But I've mixed... Um, a half an ounce of Olaplex with my mixture. So I really, really want to protect this. Um, in the illustrious wise words of Guy Tang, this is like a condom for your hair. So <laughs> safe sex. Oh, well, that went a little far. I should have just kept it just a condom for your hair. But uh, I am pouring some Olaplex into the Liza Decolorizer Cream Lightener. Oh, because you're doing the previously lightened ends, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Just you a see? little scotch. You see that? Course. Yeah, just put a little scotch in there. Just a little scotch. A little scotch and stir it in because we need protection. You always need protection. You always need protection, girl. Yes. Always. The regrowth looking beautimous. Yeah. And then, oh, you pretty much have the same situation with Ruta yeah, going I don't know, on she's, as. 
Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, definitely she's warmer, but we're do having to do the same thing. Lift up the regrowth and then like over... Um, Pull 30 yards. Yeah, just exactly. Brighten it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Awesome. And obviously we would not feel super safe about doing this if we didn't have Olaplex. So, huzzah. We love it. Yay, Olaplex. Hooray. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Even yeah, the models it. know. Yeah, I do. Oh my gosh. It makes like, a huge difference. I never knew about Olaplex and then he gave me Bronco. Oh, I need, yeah, I'll give you some. It's like, oh, I was like, I'll oh. give you one too. Yeah, everybody gets a no I know. It's not like, you know, you use a lot of conditioners and you're like, oh, okay, that feels good. And you wash your hair one time, you don't really feel any effect. You use this, you can freaking tell, you know? Oh, yeah. It's pretty amazing. It. Awesome. I can't wait to see Bro. how light you get. That's for you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Hi. Yeah. On the sides here, you just pretty much pick, pick a plan of attack and dive in. Still have a little warmth there, but in the time it takes for this to lighten up, that little band will... We'll be out of there and we'll be good to go with what we're doing. Um, I'm going to make sure I tone her because I'm still wanting to keep a platinum base and to neutralize all the warmth. So pretty much you see what we're doing. I'm just applying the lightener. I'm going to be very vigilant of this. I do not want it to over process. Um, and that's it. We'll come back whenever we get past this stage and you can start seeing it lift and, and where it's going to be. After processing with the lightener for 45 minutes room temperature, I shampooed and I applied Guy's 5 Minute Express Toners in Violet to achieve this really pale, smoky violet base, which is going to be perfect for the palette uh, vivids that we've chosen. Speaking of palette, this is your opportunity to, like an artist, to be very creative and to choose any colors that you desire. Once you have the canvas or the starting level of blonde on point, this is your opportunity to be creative. I have several contrasting tones. I have Joico Titanium. I'm using Kenra, a little Pravana locked in yellow. I'm using several different tones to create the fragment look that we're after today. Another really cool tip that I wanna share with you is that you can use Olaflex number two as your clear or your diluter to create pastel shades, lighter shades, brighter shades, or basically just to give another feel to your color. This is the most fun part of the entire process, so you guys have a great time and really get creative. We're going to be working first on the side of her hair, and I've established, you know, where she parts her hair, and it is over this way or going this way, so I need to be mindful of where I'm going to end up putting and be mesh. That's what I'm going to use to isolate the, the shapes that I'm going to put in. So I'm going to put them diagonally moving forward this way because this is the way the hair is going to lay. And we'll be able to see very graphic, in your face, if you will, designs on the surface of the hair. So I'm pretty excited. We cut it too, by the way. Looks a lot shinier, has more movement. She well, and before, it feels so good. Yes, I know. I'm like really stoked with how nice it feels. I swear it was all of like wouldn't have done that. It wouldn't have reacted as nice as it did had we not put Olaplex in there. And then we went down the subway for like 20 minutes with number two on your hair. So this is where the fragment technique comes in. And I've, I've got this sped up because you have to be pretty tedious and pretty thorough when you're saturating. Normally when you're using Vivids, you are working on both sides of the hair to saturate. There's no uh, oxidation to really drive direct dye in so you have to rely on mechanical action to push the color into the cuticle so I'm being very thorough when I'm using the Fremar brush and the ME mesh so I'm just using multiple sort of random organic shapes and sequences of color I probably all in all will have about 30 different sequences um, and then once you have a section done, you, you gently place the MB mesh over top and isolate the section and then you move on to your next one. So I've worked in the, the front quadrant, so the front two quadrants of hair going with her part like I mentioned before. I have some very linear that are like this, some that have negative space, and then some that are completely mosaic like the first one you saw and then this one. So some are more graphic and then some are a little bit more blended. But this is your opportunity just to use your own judgment and creativity to come up with unique shapes that will have a very blended yet graphic result when you're finished.
So this is the after, guys. This is the fragment technique you're seeing after it's been rinsed, conditioned, and styled. This looks just as nice curly as it does straight. It looks nice braided, styled, ponytail, you name it. It looks fantastic. It is a very unique graphic style, but it's completely wearable. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you all try this. I hope you put your own spin on it and adapt it even further. Um, I just really appreciate you watching my videos. I have more to come. So I hope you enjoy this. Get fragments out there and go and get your clients to wear them. And thank you guys so, so much. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, to comment on the video, and follow me if you don't already on Instagram at Vivid Artistic Hair Design. And if you have any questions about the classes that I offer all over the world at this point, please email me at vivideducation at yahoo.com. My classes are very in-depth. There's six hours of all the techniques that I have to share, all the tricks and tips with lifting, using Olaplex, finishing, styling, branding, social media. You name it, I offer it in my classes. So if you're interested, again, make sure you email me. I, again, hope you guys love this look. Special thanks to my hair hubby guy, Tang, for letting us use his space and, as always, giving us the best entertainment and advice we could ever have from any hairstylist, hair bestie around the world. Make sure you stay tuned towards the end because he's acting like a goofball. You guys need to see it. Love you guys. Thank you. Oh my god. You look like from the south. Are you on Periscope? No. I'm just videoing it. Oh. You look like, ew, you look like from Pensacola. Or Serial killer. No. <laughs> Brett Michaels. Brett Michaels? Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. These five words I swear to you. We didn't do those words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta go away. I rolled up on you like, what the fuck is this dude doing? He looks a lot like guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Ew, look at that hair swing. <laughs>